Come up here, big boy. I wasn't sure about this color, but look at the size of that, baby. Well, good morning, guys. It's John here with Green Fish Nation. It's a uh, Saturday morning here, early February. I'm gonna be uh, heading down to Lake Wells this morning. Gonna check out the fish and see if they're on the beds yet. Uh, gonna be an interesting day. We had a cold front blow through last night. It's about 40 degrees and the temperature is supposed to be dropping down to about 36 today. I'm actually gonna meet a buddy down there around noon. Uh, I should get a couple three hours in of fishing before he gets there. But uh, chance of snow about 1 p.m. Water temperature should be about right there now. Should be in the mid 50s to around 60, 62 degrees. So you guys stay tuned and we'll see if we can't uh, find a fish or two down here at Lake Welch. We're gonna try to throw a few different things today. Like I said, the, the bass ought to be up shallow with the, the water temperature. The moon phase is about right. We'll get you guys adjusted here. Uh, we're about four days before the full moon. Uh, we're gonna be uh, targeting these bass with uh, some chatter baits, jerk baits, uh, also, probably going to throw a shaky head and a uh, drop shot, maybe a mad rig. Uh, we find some on the, on the bed. I like to throw a shaky head in there or a Ned rig. They seem to react real good to both of those baits. Uh, chatter bait, jerk bait, uh, drop shot on the outside edges of the grass lines. Also, we might uh, drop a one ounce jig in on them, uh, get out on the edge of the grass line and pitch to the edge of that cover. If you guys have never fished Lake Wells, it's a power plant lake uh, down in East Texas. It's kind of just a little south and east of uh, Mount Pleasant. Uh, it's a pretty good lake, a hot water lake. There's a lot of people fishing, especially this time of year whenever the uh, fish are getting ready to move up. <clears throat> I was down here about a month ago. They were pre-spawn. Uh, they were being able to be caught off the ends of the points. Uh, like I said, along the grass edges there. I was throwing a, uh, a crankbait and doing pretty good. Uh, right now it's kind of starting to rain on us. And like I said, it's pretty cold out here. It's uh, Temperature's dropping. It's already down to 39. I think the low during the day today is going to be about 34 around noon or 1 o'clock and there's a, about a 40% chance of snow flurry so we might get to fish in the white stuff today. Well guys we're about to round this corner right here. Pull into the boat ramp. See how many dedicated fishermen there are down here today. So, well, not very many guys and gals. Most times when you pull in down here, this parking lot right here is full this time of year. Ooh, guys, it is wet and cold. Here we go. Launching the old Coracoline. Get out here and see if we can't get on some. All right, guys, we finally made it down here to Lake Wells this morning. Uh, we've endured several different weather changes, sleet, snow, rain, and just complete cold. Uh, I do have uh, something I want to tell you guys about. Uh, it's an out that I'm going to be employing in my fishing. Uh, I'm going to try to show you guys on my phone here. If you can see that, it's called Deep Dive. Trying to get it to focus, guys. I'm sorry. Deep dive. Uh, if you guys have ever, ever heard of uh, Johnny or Randy Blockett, uh, they have uh, intuitive angling is Randy Blockett, and Johnny has a, a, a YouTube channel, and that's called Fish the Moment. Well, they've developed this app 
Uh, it is awesome. You guys should check it out. Uh, we're fishing totally by this app today. There's hundreds of lakes throughout the United States that you can put in your app. It's a monthly subscription. Uh, I think it's like eight or nine bucks a month, or you can pay it by the year, and it's like, uh, I don't know, it's like six or seven bucks a month for the year if you average it out. But uh, these guys, they got their stuff together. Uh, you should check out their channels as well. Randy Blockett, I hope I'm not uh, butchering up your name. But uh, man, this guy is, he's awesome. He gives away lots of good information, tells a lot of tricks of the trade, a lot of pro secrets, how to rig baits, how to change baits, the way they act and things like that, check him out. And then uh, Johnny has lots of good information on fish the moment uh, as far as just anything fishing, lake breakdowns, how to better use your sonar equipment. Both these guys do seminars. But anyway, I'm gonna go over this with you just a little bit. This, uh, so I'm fishing here today at Lake Welch. You got weathers, uh, water conditions, uh, shallow or deep. Kind of tells you what you need to use for the morning, the afternoon, the sunset. But you can go to Johnny's channel and check that out. Uh, I'm actually fishing. Uh, this lake only has information for shallow fish. Water temperature is 66 degrees, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put that in here, 66 degrees. That's done. Uh, I'm fishing. I would say the afternoon bite. Uh, throwing a white spinner bait, uh, green pumpkin swim jig, or a watermelon candy chatter bait. Uh, I've been throwing a uh, uh, white jerk bait this morning around these grass lines. So we're going to get with this app and we're going to put it to the test. So you guys stay tuned. All right, guys, here's proof the app works. First fish on a jerk bait. I went right by the app and it paid off. So you guys stay tuned for more fishing right here on Lake Welch. Stay tuned for more Greenfish Nation. Hello. Okay. All right. Well, I'm I'm here at the boat ramp. You can just drive down here in your pickup and unload all your gear and stuff, and then I'll wait on you and put it in the boat, and we'll just take your truck back up there and park it, and we'll get after it. I done got a few on the jerk bait this morning, so it's they've been biting. Yep. Yep. All right. Well, I'll see you when you get here. Be careful. All right. Bye. Well, that was my buddy Matt. He's on his way, guys. So it's about to be on. All right, guys, we're going to tie some baits on here. Uh, got the old big swim bait here, big glide bait. We're going to be throwing it a little bit around the edges of the grass lines. Also, I have got a little jerk bait on. We're going to be throwing that as well. Put on a shaky head, and maybe like a Senko or something like that. So we're gonna see what we can get them caught up on today. I've got a new app I'm gonna tell you guys about, uh, uh, Fish the Moment. I've been using it, uh, it's a great app. You guys need to go check that out. Fish the Moment on YouTube. Subscribe and like and notifications bell and you'll get all his videos. Great information there, so you guys uh, hang out and we're going to tie on some lures. Dig around in here and see what I can find. Going to need that today. Drop shot. And we're gonna look for something we can tie a shaky head on. And 
not going to throw a Carolina rig today. Little punch rig. Might throw that today. I think we can probably put a shaky head on this one. Looky here, this one's already got a got a Ned head on it. So we're just gonna go with that one guys. So that's one less lure that we have to tie on. Plus we can use that one if we find some bad fish today. So we're gonna put us something on there so you guys hang tight. Well Matt just pulled up with the fried chicken. It's about lunchtime guys. Look here, it's the man of the hour, old Matt. Better get you some clothes on, boy. I'm about to. <laughs> he doesn't some. What color you want? Oh, I don't care as long as they see it. You want a bright? That's, that's extra large. That's fine. Gray's fine. Gray or black. Oh, Matt, he's done went by Home Depot and saved the day. Brought <laughs> us some gloves. And some chicken. And some chicken. <laughs> We're about to get out here and rip some lips, so y'all stay tuned. We're gonna put this Alabama rig together here. Picked it up at Academy the other day. It's a young flash mob junior. I've never thrown one of these, so we're gonna try it out too around these grass lines. All right, got all the hooks on it. Got it spread out. We're gonna tie some baits on now. All right, guys, we got it all put together. Got it all spread out. Get this wire kind of straight here. Got five little shad on there. We're gonna take that big uh, glide bait off and try to throw this dude on there and see if we can't jerk the lips off of one. Alabama rig at Lake Welsh, my buddy Matt. All right, guys, we're coming over here to the uh, the warm water outlet and I just reached down in the water here. Uh, you can see here that the, uh, the graph, you can see that. It says the water's 77 degrees. It's like the bath water, guys. We're gonna get up in here and see if we can't uh, let Matt get the skunk out of the boat. I don't know if you guys can see in the video, but there is a lot of steam coming off this water. All right, guys, out here at Welch, done switched over to an Alabama rig. Second cast on the Alabama rig, nice little chunk. I'm not able to get a lot of this footage on video because of the wind. I know you guys ain't gonna be able to hear very well, so I'm just trying to trying to show you what we catch. Come up here, big boy. I wasn't sure about this color, but look at the size of that, baby. Oh, that's a chunk. Oh, come here, big boy. Come here. Now get him in, because I don't want to see you crying on the back of my oh, boat. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that's nice. That's what we come down here for. That's What'd you catch that on? That's been a long time coming. That's a chatterbait. It's a pumpkin with a little bit of purple in it. Yeah. Yep. Well, <clears throat> there you go. Pretty nice fish. That is a toad. That is a nice fish. Hold it up and let me get a good look at it. The old Matt got the skunk out of the boat right oh, here yeah. with Greenfish Nation down here at Lake Welch. That's a nice fish, Matt. Thank you. Oh man, he's just putting them in the boat today. Same chatterbait. Good colors. Yeah. 
Heck yeah. Sucker done hooked up on it. Was that five now? Yep. Away he goes. Good job, Matt. Thank you. Well, guys, we grinded on it today. Toughed out the weather. Had a pretty good day. We caught five. Uh, Matt caught the biggest fish, about four to four and a half pounds. He was excited to get the skunk off of him. He hasn't caught many fish in the last couple of years. He's been too busy raising grandkids, but. Thank you guys for joining us today. If you like our channel, hit that like button, subscribe to us for more content, and don't forget that notifications button so you'll know when we load a new video. Thank you guys again for joining us today on Lake Welch with Greenfish Nation. Well guys, we got off the lake. It's about five o'clock. Spent the better part of the day out there grinding away at them fighting the wind and the waves. Uh, it was about, uh, oh, at the lowest I seen it today, it was about 31 degrees. Drizzling rain, sleet, and snow. But about three o'clock, that turned around, the sun came out. Um, it's currently 42, and the wind's actually changed out of the west. We ended up grinding out five today. Uh, Matt caught a pretty nice one on a kind of a plum colored chatterbait. Uh, got the skunk off of him. He, he hasn't been fishing much. Uh, been working and raising grandkids. Uh, sometimes life happens, but he, I was glad to have him out today. Uh, Matt and I have been lifelong friends. We've hunted and fished together all over the country. So it was good to get out here with him today and, and do a little fishing. Guys, if you uh, like our content, I'm gonna encourage you to subscribe to our channel. If you haven't done that, I'd appreciate it. Also, try to tell your friends about us. We appreciate that as well. Like our videos, uh, drop us a comment if there's questions or if there's some type of video you'd like to see, we try to accommodate you with that. Uh, don't forget to click on that notifications bell. Uh, that way we can, uh, every time you we drop a new video, sorry, got tongue-tied there. Every time we drop a new video, uh, you'll get notified that we've done that. And you can watch that video. Uh, again, thank you for joining us today here at Greenfish Nation. We had a great time down at Lake Welch. It was definitely big boy fishing weather. It's like this time of year, you usually got 35 or 40 boats on it. I got there this morning, there was four. I made boat number five. And when we came out today, we were the only ones left on the lake. So it was a tough day fishing, but that's fishing. Thanks again for joining us here on Greenfish Nation.